Hi Huskies, it's me, Miss Check. I am here for a Feelings Friday video. I am hoping that you're all very well. I miss you like crazy as usual, um, but I'm so excited to get to talk to you about feelings today. Now the feeling I'm gonna talk to you about today is sadness. So, sadness. What do you think of when you think of sadness? Blue, maybe, is often the color of sadness. When we think about sadness, we think about crying. We think about feeling really down. But, you know, the thing about sadness is it's important, too. It's an important emotion. Sadness is sometimes what our body and our brain needs to feel in order to move forward and to grow. If you want to think about it like your little seed, your little seed of a flower, what do you need to grow if you are a seed? Anybody remember? You need air, you need good soil, and you need water, right? So if we think about it, you can't grow without some rain, some tears. Oh, there's my kitty cat. That's Cosmo behind me. Oh my goodness, what is he doing? Anyway, I'm going to read a book called When I'm Feeling Sad. When I'm feeling sad, I feel like someone has taken all the colors away and everything is gray and gloomy and droopy. When I'm feeling sad, I feel like I could cry and cry and cry so much that I could make a flood. Have you ever felt like you could cry and cry and cry so much that you could fill a whole ocean? I have. But crying is important. I want to crawl into bed and pull the covers over my head and stay there until my sadness goes away. Boy, I really relate to that one because oftentimes when you're sad, you get really tired and you don't wanna get up and you don't wanna do anything because you feel too sad. Does that ever happen to anybody you know or to you? Some things make me really sad. Like when I hear mom and dad arguing or when I am sick and my body doesn't work properly, or when somebody or something I love dies. That's part of why this is such a sad time because there's a lot of sad stuff going around, a lot of sad news and a lot of sad loss. It's okay to let yourself feel sad, but it could help to talk to someone Sharing your feelings can sometimes make you feel better. When I'm feeling sad, I try to be kind and gentle to myself. I like to soak in a bubble bath or listen to my favorite music. Ooh, what's your favorite music? Do you have some music that makes you feel good when you listen to it? I hope so. Sometimes just being with my family makes me feel better or my friends, even if I don't want to talk. Sometimes just cuddling up makes you feel better. But the nicest feeling of all is when a kind person gives me a hug and says, everything is going to be okay. Okay, so first of all, I want everybody to give yourself a big hug. You can imagine that I'm giving it to you if you'd like, or you can give yourself a hug. And I want you to say, everything is going to be okay. I know it can be hard to believe that sometimes, but it really will be okay. And things will pass. And like we said before, emotions, feelings are just like the weather. They come and they go. So just like the rain, sadness comes, 
but it also passes, okay? And it helps us to grow. So I have a question. What are some things that make you feel sad? Think about that. Is there a time that you have felt really sad? Do you feel sad nowadays or do you feel happy? That's okay too. Or you feel nervous or you feel scared. All of those are feelings. And when we can name them, and when we can talk about them with someone, we really feel better, okay? So I want everybody to think of one person you could talk to if you were feeling sad. It can be more than one, but everybody needs at least one. A grown-up that you would talk to if you're feeling sad. I hope you know you can always talk to me. You just have to email or call dojo message whatever because I want to be there for you but I bet you have somebody closer to home who you could talk to if you're feeling sad so I just want you to remember that it will fade that sadness fades it's important but it won't last forever and I know how strong you all are and being sad does not make you less strong Crying does not make you less strong. You're just noticing things in the world, and right now there's a lot of sadness. So you're not crazy, it's not too much. Sadness is an okay response, but we want it to not be too big, right? So that's why we talk to people, we share our feelings, and we do things that are kind to ourselves so that we feel better. Okay, Huskies, I will be back next week, not Monday because that's a holiday, but next week for some more videos. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Please repeat after me. I take care of you. You take care of me. We take care of each other because we're a family. Okay, Huskies, take care. See you later. Bye-bye.